Welcome back to MMA Odds Breaker. Today in his car, parked out in front of his house, is Joseph Sandoval. He's getting ready to fight Jason Sampson, coming up on Legacy Fighting Championships 38. Um, why are you uh, out front of your house? Uh, my daughter's a monster, and I'm guaranteed she would leave me alone if <laughs> she saw me on the phone. Uh, is it because it's daddy time right now, or is it because that she's just one of those girls that, that uh, she's at that age where she's got to be you know, in the center of attention all the time? That, and it is daddy time. I just got off work, so... It's my time to spend with her for about an hour or so. Okay. And then the gym. And then what's your what's your schedule like? So like you you work today, but what'd you do for work? What's your job? Uh, I work at Home Depot. Uh, I just switched jobs. I was a asset protection specialist for a while. All we do is catch, you know, shoplifters, stuff like that. It's right. not bad. It's right up your alley. <laughs> <It's> right. <laughs> Try not to do anything too bad up there though. I don't want to get hurt. Yeah, especially especially when you're coming up on a fight. Um, so now at Home Depot, and then you come home for an hour, spend some time with your family, and then you go to the gym. It's it's Tuesday right now. What's a typical Tuesday night for you? A uh, typical Tuesday night, like I said, I get off of work about five thirty, come home for about an forty five minutes to an hour. Usually at the gym, probably about six thirty, ready to go. We do cardio for about I'd say an hour depending on how hard we do, you know, weights, you know, straight cardio. After that, we, we like to, uh, Tuesday is boxing and kickboxing day. Cause you know, we have other students as well. Uh, me and Eric Bighead Dover are out there, you know, we teach, we train and then do, you know, technique and everything for about an hour. And then after that, we just we beat the crap out of each other, you know, for how many rounds we can go. It, it varies every day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're seven or four. And there's a lot of guys in the UFC right now that are about that same, the same record. Um, Legacy, obviously, you know, fighting championship with Mick. They do a great job and they get guys sent over to the UFC quite a bit. Once you're at the UFC, or if you get to the UFC, will you then have to quit Home Depot and become a full-time fighter? No matter what the pay is like because it's the big leagues now? Or is there a particular monetary amount you've got to make per fight to be able to, to, be, able to be a full-time fighter without having to work at Home Depot? Uh, there, there would have to be a particular amount because even last time when I did make it to the UFC, you know, when I got to the UFC, I've never had sponsorships before that really. Um, that was the first time we've seen sponsorship money. That was the first time we've seen that type of money. Uh, I actually still had three jobs when I was training for that fight. That first fight was Wadlel. Yeah. I had two part-time jobs and I had a full-time job. Uh, I got yelled at by four or five different people. They told me I needed to quit my jobs, even my management. At a sucker punch, they told me, hey, yeah. you need to quit your jobs. You need to focus. And I told them, I can't quit. You know, I'll, I'll knock the part-times down. I'm still going to keep my full-time. But, uh, you know, I, you have to bring in that money no matter what. I could get hurt, and, you know, there's no money there after that. You fought, uh, well, Watson back in October of 2011. That was on UFC Live 6. Yeah. And then you fought Nick Dennis right after that in January 2012, and that was uh, UFC on FX. Yeah, and then you got one. cut, but you had three jobs, right? Yeah. So now you've got a shot. You, you, you're in a space where you could actually make another run. You're with a company, with Legacy Fighting Championships, that send guys back to the UFC. They send guys up to the UFC who have never been there before. So you're in that space, but you can't work jobs and be a professional fighter. It just and, and at, a high, at the highest level, you just can't do it. So yeah. you, you, you know it's a monetary number you have to have because – you know, you didn't make any sponsorship money before you went in the UFC, and and are you making any sponsorship money now with the UFC, with uh, Legacy? I, I see a little bit. I don't I don't see that much. It's not it's not great. It's it's enough to help out with training, pretty much. Best case scenario, they give you all the money in the world. They give you the exact amount of money you need to, to you know uh, uh, make over at Legacy redoes restructure your contract. You get the money you need to do nothing but fighting full-time that's all you have to do is worry about fighting would you still coach at the gym with big head oh yeah definitely I, you know what honestly I, I love working with kids more than anything i don't you know adults they're stuck in their ways you can you can coach some of them but kids you can mold them you now nah, they they're sponges so i i love working with kids it doesn't matter I, i'd love coaching no matter what they're uh you're in a weird particular space because you're a guy that's got family, you've got bills, you've got mortgages and car payments and health insurance and stuff you got to worry about. 
But then you're also trying to be a, a high level professional fighter. Plus, you're still coaching, like you said earlier. You're in the middle of a training camp for your fight coming up here um, on February 13th. But you're you're still coaching. You're going to go do weights and cardio tonight, and then help coach as you're doing kickboxing and, and boxing. Doesn't yeah. that get in the way of your training a little bit? Doesn't that get in the way of, of the time that you need to be selfish with of, of being able to come up and, and prepare to fight? You know, um, it, it does a little bit, but honestly, there are them days that I am selfish. I, I kind of, it. I don't like being that guy, but I do kind of blow people off. You know, hey, go learn from him. Go do what they, you know, work with them guys. But the other aspect of it is if you make them guys better, then, you know, they're obviously going to make you better because you, you got to you gotta beat each other up. You got you to gotta help each other out. Yeah, so. for sure. For sure. Well, Joe, thanks for spending a couple minutes with us on here. I appreciate it. Um, good luck. Sure. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great fight. Of course, if you guys are at home and and uh, want to watch, it's on Access TV on uh, February the thirteenth. Uh, Legacy Fighting Championships thirty eight is facing Jason Sampson. Joseph, once again, thanks for coming out here, man. Have a great time with your daughter in the next couple of minutes, and have a good practice today. Appreciate you. Thank you.